In this video, I'm going to show you the secret of changing chords quickly and smoothly. It's really not that hard. And I'll be upfront with you, nothing takes the place of practice. Practice repeating the same motions over and over and over till you get good at it. But there are better ways to practice than others. I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step technique for changing smoothly, getting to the chord on time, and sounding like a real guitar player. So for this example, I'm going to use a D, G, D, A progression. That's a 1, 4, 1, 5 progression. You can look at some of my other videos if you need to know more about the chord numbers, but not important right now. Okay, start with the D chord. Now I want you to finger the D chord and do it accurately. You should have a relaxed hand. Knuckles should be up in the air with a nice arch. Thumb behind the neck. Now take your hand off, shake it just slightly, relax, and put your fingers back on. All three fingers at one time. Now take a look at that D chord. Take your fingers off, Visualize in your mind what that chord's supposed to look like. Wiggle your hands a little bit and put all three fingers back on, same time. Now practice that. It might take some time, that's okay. Get it to about, what I'll say is about 80% of, of getting it just right. Don't worry about 100%. Fingers all three on at the same time. Not like most people do one at a time. Okay, that's okay when you're just first starting out, but I'm teaching you how to get from one chord to the other quickly and smoothly. Okay, once you practice that, come on back and we're going for the G chord. Now, the G chord, same thing. Finger the G chord. Make sure everything's sounding right. You should do that with the D chord too. Take your fingers off, wiggle them around a little bit, visualize the G chord, and place all three fingers down. Good. Hand relaxed, thumb behind the neck. Just enough pressure to make the chord sound, but no more. Take your fingers off, wiggle them. All three fingers back on. Practice that and we'll do step three. Step three is we're going to go from the D to the G chord. Finger the D chord, strum it, go to the G chord, all three fingers. I strum it just to hear that it's all sounding. I'm not interested in the tempo right now. Fingers off to the D. Now I don't want to overwhelm you, don't worry too much about this, but I'm aiming towards as little movement as possible. So when I go to the G chord, I'm not lifting my fingers way higher off the fretboard. I'm taking the path that's closest to the G chord. You don't want to do this. That's too far. You want a nice small movement. Sometimes you'll even find a finger stays in the same place or can slide on the same string. Good. Leave the finger there. Don't take it off if you don't need to. G, go to D, now. Go to G, now. Back to D. Practice that, and we'll go to step four. Step four, finger the A chord. Same as the other two chords. I'm using a three finger A, there's many versions. That's not too important right now, which version you use. I just strum to make sure it's sounding accurately. Fingers off, wiggle around a little bit. Visualize the A chord. I see all three fingers going just behind that second fret. Practice that like you did the D and the G chord. Back for step five. We're going to try the whole progression, just a slow strum, straight down, slow tempo. Start with a D, four straight down strums. One, two, three. Visualize the G now, change. See, 
I didn't stop or hesitate. Back to D. No slowing down. Go as slow as you have to with the tempo. And A. To D. Okay. Practice that, and you'll be ready for the final step. Now the final step in tempo with a strum. I'm going to start with a nice simple strum, just down, down, up, down, down, up. It's four beats. So here it goes. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, down, down, up. Change. Back to D now. If you have to, play it slower than that until you can get the change in time at whatever speed you need to. You can always pick it up little by little. Then when you're ready and that's going smooth, you can add a fancier strum. For instance, thanks for listening. Take care.